I, I don't think it's appropriate that we go too much longer without mentioning the passing of uh, a great hero, uh, that is Frank Kameny, uh, last year. Uh, we are all here uh, because of him standing up. And now I'm going to stop because Jimmy Butler's here. Yeah. somebody that in 2008 and before was instrumental in helping organize, uh, raising money, to make sure Barack Obama and some good Democrats uh, were helped by the LGBT community. We have new pockets. And so I'd just like to acknowledge Clara Lucas, who is a former chair of the Democratic Leadership Council for the LGBT community. to introduce the next person who will become the newest LGBT member of Congress this fall. And uh, it's a distinction. And he is here to represent Mark Takano, uh, Sean Mahoney, and I'm missing somebody else that you'll mention, I'm sure. Uh, I forgot somebody. Uh, so with that, my friend, my neighbor, Mark Okan. Thank you. I actually have a real big honor, which is introducing uh, someone who's been a mentor and a really good friend, and uh, I don't think she needs introduction, but we're going to give her one anyway. Um, my name is Mark Pocan, and I've been a state representative for the last eight, I don't know how you do it, the last 14 years in the state of Wisconsin. And I've seen my Kathy Baldwin do it when she got elected to the Congress. And uh, I just want to tell you, Wisconsin is a very special place. Uh, despite a few hiccups, uh, we are a state that embraces acceptance and diversity. Uh, when I was elected to the Dane County Board of Supervisors in 1991, uh, shortly thereafter, there was a conference for national elected, uh, gay elected and elected officials. Tom Duane was there, uh, as well as others. And we had more open gay and lesbian elected officials from Dane County, which is Madison, Wisconsin, than the entire state of California. Wow. 1991. Tammy <laughs> Baldwin was one of the first LGBT state legislators in the entire country and she was the first openly gay or lesbian person elected to Congress uh, as out in their very first term. In Wisconsin, we even had an openly gay Republican. Representative Steve Gunderson came out as a member of Congress while in Congress. And if my congressional district honors me with taking Tammy's place in Congress, we will, for the first time ever, elect a back-to-back -back and LGBT member to Congress. Uh, and, and we will have elected more openly gay or, gay or lesbian members to Congress than any other state in the entire country. You know, you still think Wisconsin's flyover country? No, we're just fly, all right? <laughs> but we have another chance to do another first this November in Wisconsin. And we have the chance to elect the first openly gay or lesbian person to the United States yeah. Senate. <laughs> Tammy Baldwin is without a doubt the best person you could elect anywhere in the U.S. Senate, period. 21 years ago, when I was elected to the Dane County Board of Supervisors, a local unit of government, I had the great pleasure to serve with the then County Board Supervisor, Tammy Baldwin. Tammy was a committed elected official who had a deep compassion for those in need 
She knew how to get things done. She was honest, immensely sincere, and a charismatic leader. The best thing about Tammy is that she has not changed a bit from the time she was on the Dane County Board of Supervisors, to the Wisconsin Legislature, to the United States Congress. She is still the same talented, bright, dedicated public official that she was when she entered public life. Tammy has been a leader on many issues in Congress, from starting the first Equality Caucus in Congress, to fighting on behalf of veterans, to being a sad, savvy advocate for health care. And just recently, she led the efforts nationally in Congress for tax fairness as the lead author on the Buffett Rule of Taxation yeah. to ensure real tax fairness in the In Wisconsin, we consider her a national treasure for the issues she fights for in our district. And in this room, we know she's a national treasure for equality that she fights for every single day in office. But let me not sugarcoat the reality of what we face in the next couple of months. Wisconsin is a very purple state. I didn't say lavender, purple. <laughs> Tammy is taking on a former governor who has tasted the tea from the Tea Party, and he says he likes it. We have a distinct choice in our state. Tammy's vision for an inclusive future moving forward and the GOP vision of turning back the calendar to an era where women, people of color, and gays and lesbians are not granted the same rights as straight, white, wealthy males. We have much work to do to ensure a victory in November. This is going to be a fight. No, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, this is going to be one of the three most competitive races in the entire country. And as the nation watches other important races, including Elizabeth Warren's, we cannot take our eyes off of this prize. I assure you, the national GOP has not. I hope you are as committed as I am to seeing that this can happen. We can do this, but we need the help not only of the voters of Wisconsin, but of every single person in this room. I am proud to call Tammy a mentor and a friend, but I'll be even prouder to call her my senator. Let's give a rousing. <laughs>